This one comes up a lot. Can a sink be used instead of a laundry tub? Space is limited in modern developments, so laundries are often combined with kitchens or bathrooms. And to save more space, people are asking us if they can do away with the laundry tub. Yes or no? Well, to answer this one, we have to go back to the performance requirements and see what the NCC requires for facilities and personal hygiene. For class two buildings and class four parts of buildings, so dwelling Soloc units, the performance requirements simply requires that facilities or a space for laundering, including a convenient way of getting rid of wastewater be provided. The same goes for class one buildings. Now we have here in volume two, some explanatory information which highlights that we need a way of getting rid of wastewater that comes from domestic cleaning processes, like the water in your mop bucket or the water that you soak your dirty socks in. There's a very similar line in the guide to volume one to this explanatory information box, which comments on FP 2.2, the performance requirement that we just looked at on the previous slide. Note carefully, these are the performance requirements. They're not optional. You need to have a way of emptying a bucket of dirty water in a home or in an, in an apartment. This is how the Dean to Satisfy provisions achieve these performance requirements in volume one for class two buildings and class four parts of buildings. You need to have your facilities, including at least one wash tub. And in case there was any doubt, A3 here states that a kitchen sink or a wash basin cannot be counted as a laundry wash tub. It's the same in volume two. You need at least one wash tub. And as per the explanatory information, as far as we're concerned, the only thing you can empty your mop bucket into is a laundry tub. So no, under the Dean to Satisfy, you cannot use the sink instead of a wash tub. And the performance requirements say you need to have a wash tub. But there is a related question that I'm sure somebody has thought of already. And that person's thinking, I won't use the sink as the laundry tub. What if I use the laundry tub as the sink? Clever, isn't it? I admit that this one's down to judgment, but my judgment on this one is that under the deemed to satisfy, the answer is still no. And that's because the deemed to satisfy is listing separate things. You need each of the things listed, a hand washing sink and a kitchen sink and a laundry tub. That's a list of three things. So when I'm doing my final inspection, I want to see three things. If the deemed to satisfy provisions were imply, inviting us to apply judgment, it would be use less prescriptive language, such as telling us to provide a means of disposing of wastewater. But of course, this is a performance-based code. You're certainly welcome to use performance. And just remember that the performance requirements are looking for a hygienic way of getting rid of dirty water if you do choose to apply a performance solution. It's not very hygienic to rinse your vegetables in the same sink that you soak your dirty socks in or empty your mop bucket into. So please do not try and combine your laundry tub with your kitchen sink. Do I have to waterproof the laundry tub splashback? This bit highlighted by the red arrow. Yes or no? Well, let's have a look. You're not going to find the term splashback in the BCA. The BCA is referring to this bit as a wall adjoining a vessel. This is table 3811 in volume two. In volume one, you'll, it's table F1.7. It's the same in both volumes. And for a sink, basin or laundry tub, you notably need to achieve a water resistant finish for at least 150 millimetres above the vessel if that vessel is within 75 millimetres of the wall. Not waterproof. So tiles without a waterproofing membrane is okay. Though do note, if you fix your vessel to the wall, then you must waterproof the junction. In a quantum of AS3740, a bead of sealant will achieve this waterproof junction. So we only need to achieve a water resistant splashback. And the wall vessel junction must be waterproof where we fix the vessel to the wall. So the answer to this question, no waterproofing is required, tiles are okay.